Hello guys, this is Rexa, and today I'll teach you how to install Warzone 2100 Art Revolution mod. So before we get to the simple installation step, which is very quick, uh, Warzone 2100 Art Revolution is basically a mod that improves the graphics of the game significantly. As you can see, all the different structures and units are dramatically improved in comparison to the classic. This mod is being continuously updated, and even though this is uh, version 3.4.3.0, 3.0, it works on the latest version. As of currently right now, I'm using version 3.4.1 and it works. And make sure to download the file from this link. I'll post that down below. And once you download it, it should be a .wz file. And furthermore, before you do, or if you already had, make sure to download the portable version of Warzone 2100. The reason being is the portable version puts all of your directories within one folder. That includes, I'm going to pull it up, that includes the Warzone 2100 3.4.0 folder, or whichever version you're using. If you do not use the portable version, this will not show up, and then it's going to be a bit annoying, and you have to mess with your terminal accounts console to find it. At least that's how I did for me. And it's actually quite tedious, because it doesn't actually show up in the program files. So if you want to install any future mods or maps, it gets a bit tedious. So what you then do is you open Warzone 2100 3.4.0, whichever folder, and you download a file and you go into mods. There you can put it in all different categories. Personally, I do not play multiplayer that much. So I simply put my version into auto load section. So from your downloads, drag it into auto load. But each one of these is pretty respected. And the download section is basically mods you download from when you play with other players on the multiplayer section. But otherwise, uh, if you want to only a mod specific for campaigns, let's say that mod only works on campaigns, creates its own campaign, or adjusts it, then you put it into the campaign section. If you want to put it into global and have it affect everything, you can put, put it there. If you want to put a multiplayer, put it there, and so on, music, and so on. They're, they're pretty uh, straightforward. And implicit and what they mean but once you do that it should load so to demonstrate i'll start the game uh you get this error but it doesn't matter and i'm going to start a skirmish game And there you go, you can see a dramatically improved graphical look for the game. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this time, and I'll credit the, the authors for making such amazing art. Let's go exit out of this. Just as a last minute credit, the people who made this are Horzy and Magnus Mangus 6 6, but there are plenty of other contributors to this. And I'm going to go out to the forum of Warzone 2100, go to their forums, and this is I'm also going to link the forums down below. So this way you can look at the mod for yourself. And I believe it is somewhere down here. Hey guys, I found the latest release official update for Art Revolution Beta 3. Uh, right now, even though this is Art Revolution Beta 3 and it's 2018, that's the latest release, when you go to the website, this is, as I said before, continuously updated, so it's not anything serious if you uh, if you think it's going to be incompatible, because it works as you can see. You're, you just get that early error screen, and that's pretty much it. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as much as I can. This is Rexon, signing out.